phaco emulsification in a case of retinitis pigmentosa retinitis pigmentosa is a group of inherited retinal disorders characterized by dysfunction of predominantly rod photoreceptors with subsequent degeneration of cone photoreceptors and the retinal pigment epithelium most common association of rp is posterior subcapsular cataract primary open angle glaucoma as well as primary angle closure glaucoma association is also seen in rp therefore proper preoperative iop and glaucoma evaluation is to be done zonular weakness in rp is due to direct toxic substances diffusing anteriorly from the degenerating retina and as a result they are prone to post operative anterior capsular phimosis a triplanar clear corneal incision is made using a crescent and a keratom visco is injected capsular excess is done using a 26 gauge cystitome we aim to create a 5.5 to 6 mm capsular excess a small capsular excess should be avoided due to increased incidence of post operative anterior capsular phimosis since it is a soft cataract both hydro dissection and delineation is done Fico aspiration of nucleus is done A second hydro is done to loosen the cortical matter and the cortex remains are aspirated Careful posterior capsular saline jet is done to detach the PSCC from the posterior capsule. Visco is injected and CTR is placed to avoid post-operative anterior capsular phimosis and decentration or subluxation of the IOI. Foldable IOI is implanted. Anterior chamber is formed. Wound is hydrated and intracameral moxifloxacin is injected. Postoperatively, NSAIDs and steroids are to be used to prevent postoperative CME and PCO. Take home points: Due to high susceptibility, glaucoma evaluation is to be done preoperatively. Small capsular excess is to be avoided. Anticipating weak zonules and anterior capsular phimosis, CTR can be used.